Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is a Math 81 video, chapter three, section three. So we're gonna continue on with word problems. We're gonna do three more word problems. So let's get started. This says Glynis earns $43,500 this year. Due to a promotion, she will get a 5% raise next year. And then they want us to find one, what is the dollar amount of her raise? We'll call that X. And then they also want us to find what her salary will be next year. So let's get started with these first three pieces of information. So if she's getting a 5% raise, that means that her salary will be increased by 5%. So we need to first find out, okay, well, what is 5% of 43,500? And if you type that into your calculator, you find out that that is $2,175. So that's the amount of her raise. But what about this other thing, her salary? Is she just going to make $2,000 next year? Absolutely not. She's going to be making her original salary, $43,500, plus an additional $2,175. So we type that in to our calculators and we find out that her new salary is $45,675. Let's do another problem. This one says Gretchen's favorite store is having a 20% off sale. So she decides to buy an outfit that she likes. So let's circle 20% off. Then it says if the regular price of the outfit is $82, how much will it cost on sale? So there's actually two ways to think about this. I would suggest right now, if you're watching this video, pause it, see if you can figure out how much it will cost on sale, then unpause the video and see if you were correct. So one way to do it is um, we could start by mul multiplying $82 by 20%, okay? So what is 82 times 20? So that gives us $16.40. Now a lot of people wanna stop here and say that that is the price of the outfit that she's going to buy. But is that true? No, this is not the new price, okay? This is the amount of savings, okay? So this is the amount that she saves, the amount that she does not have to pay for this outfit. So she's paying $82, that's the normal price, minus, right, her savings, which is $16.40. So the sale price is $65.60. So be careful. Um, a lot of students, again, like I said, they just stop here and they say, oh, she's paying $16.40. If that were the case, guys, that would mean that this thing were 80% off of its original price, which is not true. Okay. So be careful with that. The other way to think about it is you could have 100%, right? If, if this thing were not on sale, she would have to pay 100% of the price. Well, she doesn't have to pay for 20% of it. So what is 100% minus 20%? 100% minus 20% is 80%. So arguably a faster way to calculate the sale price is just to find 80% of the original price. Because if she doesn't have to pay 20% of it, then she does have to pay the other 80%. And doing that, of course, gives us the same answer of $65.60. All right, let's do one more example. It says, little Timmy has been sick all week. On Monday, his fever was 102.4 degrees. By Friday, it has decreased by 2.7%. And then they wanna know what was his temperature on Friday. Okay, so again, I would encourage you to pause the video, see if you can do this on your own, and then go back and um, figure out what the answer is. So once again, there are two different ways 
to think about this and I'm going to discuss both ways. And of course, um, there's probably more ways to do it than that, but we'll just start with these two ways. So um, we need to find out what is 2.7% of 102.4. So as you can see, I converted my percent to a decimal. Okay, and when I multiply those things, I get 2.76 degrees. Okay, so is that our final answer? Was Timmy's temperature 2.76 degrees Fahrenheit? Absolutely not, right? It was 102.4 degrees Fahrenheit, right? And it decreased by that amount. So we're gonna do minus 2.76 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can't just stop at 2.76, that doesn't make sense. Okay, and we get about 99.64 degrees, which is almost normal, so it sounds like he's getting better. Okay, so that's one way to do this problem. The other way is to think about, just like we did in the last problem, you have 100% minus 2.7%. Well, what is that? Well, that's 97.3%. So arguably a faster way to do this is to say, well, his new temperature is 97.3% of what it was before. And when you do that, you also get 